Yeah, hi, this is the Raw Traveler. Uh, I've got Grant Campbell here today. Hey. And uh, we're going to ask Grant a couple of questions about his lifestyle and his traveling. Hey, Grant, uh, can you tell me something about um, how you got started in your fitness and uh, your diet? Fitness, well, wow. okay. Um, I mean, I, I, I got into... Uh, in track and field kind of a little athletics we call it in australia when i was younger so a little bit of running a little bit of swimming training mixed in with that but as an adult when i went vegan uh, i started running longer distances i got really excited about it i uh, started recovering faster getting less injuries uh, and then finally came across raw veganism 80 10 10 diet low fat raw vegan just fresh fruits and vegetables and and then just went crazy i started running 100 milers and and um just got further and further. Longest race now is 222 kilometers. It took me 41 hours. Uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks, I'm about to run across England, which is going to be a 250 kilometer race. Uh, so yeah, diet. I, I went vegan after being influenced by a friend who talked about some uh, ethical kind of issues and, and the idea of cancerous meat ending up on supermarket shelves from factory farming, which didn't sound very pleasant. And uh, it just kind of turned a light bulb on in my head and then I just started looking at my food ever since. Stopped eating food with numbers in it and preservatives and, and stopped eating canned food and stopped eating things out of bags and just processed junk, you know, like stopped eating oils and just got into fresh fruits and vegetables, particularly after hearing Doug Graham's Perfect Health Program, which kind of gave me a lot, a lot of, it, rounded out the information and made it practical to actually eat raw vegan. That's great. Uh, could you tell me a bit of your typical year? You, you travel a lot, right? Quite often. I do travel a lot, uh, but I, I do like to stay in one place for a month or two at a time. That way it kind of feels homey. I don't like to just kind of be a the tourist, just kind of looks at something, goes on, looks at something else and sees as many things as possible. I like to really enjoy where I am. So each year I go to, um, I'm here at the Baosheng Durian farm right now, where we run the Baosheng Durian Festival, Lindsay, Lindsay Gassick and I from Year of the Durian. And um, so it's every June, every May, I'm in, I'm in Thailand running four weeks of, of Thailand adventure retreats. That's my retreat, uh, 801010 healthy lifestyle retreats. Uh, every September, October, I'm in the US uh, helping Doug Graham to run his retreats, his food and sport retreats, uh, health and fitness week, culinary skills week, um, women's week, there's all these, basically all these personal development and lifestyle, healthy lifestyle retreats that are uh, very empowering for people. Uh, in, I usually spend November, December, January, February, maybe March in Australia, uh, enjoying the summer there. I haven't experienced a day of winter in, in over three years now, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so I love my life. I love traveling around, meeting people that care about themselves enough to make change in their lifestyle. I find that really motivating and inspiring and I like to be around that energy and I like to help them out uh, in, in making change whenever anyone's interested. Yeah, okay. A lot of my viewers are interested in this kind of lifestyle. They enjoy travel. They enjoy healthy lifestyle. So thank you very much, Grant, and it's been great to talk to you. Hopefully we'll see you soon on another flight. Definitely. Bye-bye. <laughs>